the idea was we'll do it all in camera, we'll fix this, 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 and it's over. Well, we wanted to also give him an AI look, so we sort of back engineered a way that we were going to utilize the data from the performance, put it back into a full-on CG model, and then bring back the human characteristics that makes him all that more human, and yet not. There's an expression that we use in visual effects as well as other you know, robotics and things called the uncanny valley. And this is when people try to create human beings as CG characters or robots. And the closer you get to reality, the harder it is to make them look believable. But what we're trying to do in many ways is we're approaching the uncanny valley from the other side. So we're starting with a real human in Paul Bettany and we're adding CG to him. If you look at his eyes, if you look at his lips, if you look at his face, you feel the human feelings that we do when we emote. And yet there is that moment where you go, oh, he could be full on AI, is he? I was born yesterday. Hey, Lisa here with some link and you'll miss it, movie facts. Did you know that Godzilla was seen only for about eight minutes in the 2014 film Godzilla? Hmm. And Darth Vader in the original Star Wars film only actually appears on screen for 12 minutes. Hmm. Now don't forget to download our Film Is Now app for instant access to all our trailers. Bye.